Hi everyone, this is Debian Bullseye running on the Raspberry Pi. This is just a command line interface. Let's take a look at it today. So first thing, when you boot up this operating system, it will give you a login prompt. You just type root and press enter. Now what we can do is, well, first we want to update the system. So apt update no sudo because we're logged in as root. Now apt upgrade and this is a daily build so we won't have a lot to do. Now task cell. This will allow us to install a desktop environment. And here we are in this selection tool. I have an ethernet cable connected to my Raspberry Pi and then we can download an operating system right here. So we have these different options. I think I'm going to go with the multi one right now. So you press OK. Well, enter actually. And we just go through this process. So I will be back when it is done. OK, this has completed. And another thing is you have to put in your keyboard layout. I didn't show you that, but I did have to do that. But now we should be able to type start X and it should start up our multi desktop environment. Yep, it's coming up right here. And here we are in the multi desktop environment. Now, one thing is there's a black border around here. So let's see if we can fix that. If we have a file manager, we might not even have one. Well, let's go to the multi-terminal and install one. I guess we are logged in as root still. We will just do the default Raspberry Pi one. There are others that may have more functionality, but for now we will just do this one. So basically what we're doing here is building an operating system from scratch. We're taking Debian Bullseye, we're installing a desktop environment, and we're getting it all set up. Now we don't necessarily even need a file manager for this, but I do want to install the one. But to do this, we should be able to just edit the file in the boot config.txt. So if we go to nano slash boot slash config.txt, maybe that's not what it is. cd slash boot ls. So it must be in firmware, some operating systems it is. cd firmware. Yes, we've got config.txt right here. So nano config.txt. So we have this right here. So we can do disable underscore over scan equals one. There we go. Now this should be getting rid of the black border when we reboot the Pi. So if we do control X, Y, enter, and we should see if the other thing is done. There it's done. So reboot and here we are, we can do root right here and we will need to set a password and everything like that. And I recommend, you know, actually making a user account just for, you know, whatever user you have. So what we are going to do is sudo, I guess we don't have to use sudo, I keep forgetting. So add user. And we're just going to do pi. So new password, we can do whatever we want. And then full name, raspberry pi user. We just press enter. Why? There. Now we should have another user, but we also want to do we, we want to change the password of the root user. So let's change that to something else. And now we should be able to log out and log back in as the standard user. And here we are, we can do pi and enter in our password. So one thing I forgot about, you will need to run this command right here. Um, replace pi with your username. So I'm I have my standard user pi. Basically, this will give them sudo privileges. 
so then you don't have to sign in as root every time you want to do something with sudo. So here we are, we could make some customizations, but for now, let's just test out this operating system. So it comes with the Firefox web browser. So let's test video playback. And I'm guessing it would be quite similar to Ubuntu Mothe since this is kind of, you know, the same thing except with the Debian Bullseye base. And you could, of course, put whatever desktop environment you want on here. So there's lots of flexibility and you get the Debian Bullseye. So you can just take this operating system and customize it. However, the installation process is a bit tricky. And, you know, I'll leave links in the description if I find anything helpful. But anyway, we are right here at my channel. Let's do some video playback testing. So let's go to this video right here. I usually test ones that start with B-roll. And so let's test these out. I guess we need stats for nerds. And I know Chromium plays video better than Firefox generally because of the hardware acceleration. This isn't working that well for some reason. Yeah, that's really bad. So let's install Chromium, but this operating system is, you know, very based, like it doesn't really come with a whole lot of stuff. And that may be nice depending on what you are doing. I guess Chromium browser is not available. I'm not sure why that would be like that. Anyway, so you can check that out on your own, I guess. But this operating system, you know, you would do this if you want something that doesn't come with really any installed software. Like, I guess it does have like GIMP and stuff. It has some things, but not a whole lot. And you can customize it to whatever desktop environment you like. It's a very customizable operating system if you get a command line one. And the thing with Debian Bullseye, you're not really getting that much. So it's like not really all that different than like Ubuntu server or something like that. But I just thought I'd do a video on this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And I know it wasn't, you know, super interesting, but I just thought I'd just give it a try, see how it goes. And if you enjoyed it, Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new. And regardless, leave a like down below. Until next time, it's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.